You what is up, Fan Fam? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the best way that I have found to farm VC in NBA 2K18. What's up, guys? Here we're talking about farming VC in NBA 2K18. I'm gonna show you the fastest and most effective way that I have found to farm the goddamn currency, and it has nothing to do with my team. So just, I have 2,369 VC right now. And this method that I'm about to show you guys should net you roughly anywhere between, I would say between 900 and 1,000 VC every 5 to 7 minutes. Now what you're going to want to do is go to the My League mode. This is the one I play in, but just to show you guys what it should look like, I'm going to start up a new one. Um, you're going to go to My League. Uh, this, you can really choose whichever one you want, but I'm going to go with current NBA teams just to save time. Uh, we're going to start in the off season so that we can play through summer league games. Uh, not that they give you any more or less VC, but they're just more games to play. Uh, and then we're going to go to setup options. Now, I have um, uploaded uh, sliders for this. There you can see farm VC. Um, but we're going to load the, the farm VC uh, slots. And this is what it's going to look like. Auto save on, 82 games a season, 6 minute regular quarter length, simulated quarter length 12. Off, off, for both normalized play, sim minutes, and sim stats. All these will be best of 7. Uh, automatic league expansion may have turned off. Protected players is supposed to be set to 0. Um, okay, these didn't save, so there must be something wrong with uh, with this. But we'll, we'll, uh, we'll go with it. So zero protected players, prog progressive fatigue off, team chemistry off, rule changes off. We want salary cap off. We want hard cap off. We want trade logic off. Trade All these things will be turned off because of it. Um, all these things, okay, injuries off, so everything will be disabled. Player progression rate, we want to be 100. Player regression rate, zero. In-season training effects, we want 100. Uh, gameplay difficulty we want rookie, simulator difficulty zero, trade negotiation difficulty zero. Oh, that's you can't change it. Um, morale effects we have at fifty. All these contract negotiation zero, CP resigning aggressiveness zero, more uh, morale effects fifty. Chemistry difficulty you can't change these. Uh, draft class quality hundred. Player non financial ambitions factor zero. So once you do that, you can advance. Uh, this is the you pick w which teams you want to play as. Uh, we'll just pick all for this, the sake of this example. And then for this, I would recommend putting pre-draft workout to auto and prospect scouting to auto and then hit advance. Leave everything else manual. That's what I'd say, personally. Now, the strategy I did is I made a, a I created a team. Uh, we're going to use the 2017 draft class. I created a team and then uh, made them super overpowered. What we're going to do is we're going to sim all the way to the summer league. And you're kind of just going to have to watch through all this stuff. Uh, whatever. It'll go through the rookie signings, the the, the days of, uh, of free agency, uh, all that stuff. And once it finishes, which it should do pretty soon here, hopefully, because I'm sure this is, uh, this is boring looking. You're just looking at a screen that says day 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay. Cool, these guys are word have been signed. That's amazing. Ten out of ten. Proud of you guys. Okay, summer league. Uh, we want to fill out manually. Now, basically, what you're gonna do for the summer league and every other game is you don't. It doesn't really matter which games you play. You can play all of them. You could play the ones for your favorite teams. It doesn't really matter. We're gonna start with this one. Wizards versus Sixers. Now, this is the important part. Simulate with SimCast, not SimCast Live, not simulate through game, not play game. Simulate with SimCast. And the reason you're going to do this is because you're going to simulate the game, and you can use the right stick to adjust the speed at which the game is simulated. You want to get to about the fourth quarter with anywhere roughly in between like a minute, two minutes left, somewhere around there. doesn't really matter. I'm going to hop in with 53 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And you don't want to play as the team that's winning. Um... I don't know how to choose that, actually. I think, you could, I think you could switch sides in the pause menu, I believe. But you're going to want to play as the team that's winning. And when you do that, um, basically, you're going to hop in the game, like I said. And you're going to play through this game. And now, I'm not going to show the actual footage of me playing through the game. But um, 
I'm going to show you guys the VC count afterwards. So you basically just play through the game. And once it finishes, we'll check our VC count again. Alrighty, guys. Now that the game is over, we're going to... Okay, your VC earnings are being saved to the server. Now let's go back and check our VC count. Exit. Come on. Let me exit the goddamn mode. Come on. All right. It's going to take us back to the main menu eventually at some point in time. Hopefully sometime soon so I can get on with my life and uh, do other things like maybe play more Destiny 2. Who knows? Uh, maybe farm some VC. Maybe maybe do something. Okay. I'm going to go back into the My Team only because it's the quickest way that I know of off the top of my head to view the VC count. So remember, we were at 2,369. Now we're at 3,294. So we went up essentially, like I said, about 940 VC, just about. Now, like I said, anywhere from 900 to 950 VC in about five minutes. This whole video has been seven minutes, and I spent like a good like four setting up the, the settings for the, for the My League. So basically, essentially what you would do is just kind of... And go through in the in the the sum, and all the like regular season games are in the same amount of VC too. So you just kind of play whatever games you want in the summer league, do the exact same thing. Like I said, simulate to, to like the very end of the fourth quarter, then just stop the simulation, hit play, jump in, play the rest of the game as the winning team, win, and earn your 900 VC that took like three minutes. Is this a glitch? I don't know. Is it an exploit? Will it be patched? I don't know. But hop on it while you can. Because I'm telling you guys, I don't think this is going to stay in the game for long. So if you're trying to grind out that VC and don't want to spend any goddamn money on those microtransactions, then guys, do exactly what I showed you today, and you should be you should be good. So thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to pack a punch that like button. Be sure to subscribe. Have a phenomenal day. And guys, Phenom, out.